The archery season for deer opens at noon on September 4th. Today we're going to talk some basic safety tips and some rules and regulations. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. My guest this week is Education Supervisor Marty Agland. Marty, if you're heading out this fall, what are some basic tips you should follow? One of the leading accidents is falls from tree stands. So we urge everybody to use a fall restraint system or a harness, safety harness, when you go up in the tree. Uh, one of the other things is when you're going up the tree, you know, you always want three points of contact. So climb up the ladder stand or the tree stand or the tree steps uh, with nothing in your hands. And once you're up in the tree stand and you're, you know, securely fastened to the tree in your safety harness, then haul up your gear uh, with a haul line. You know, attach your, you should have attached your bow to a, a, a rope uh, or vice versa. If you're hunting other seasons from a tree stand, rifle, muzzle loader, same thing haul up your weapon unloaded uh, with a rope and so you're firmly attached to the tree. And you should always let somebody know where you're going. Absolutely. Um, you know a lot of times bull hunting is a solitary activity. You go out, you drive out by yourself, you walk out to your tree stand. If something happens there's a lot of times no one there to help you. You know and if you fall from a tree stand and you break a leg or heaven forbid but we've had it happen you've broken your back it's very important that people know when to expect you home and if you don't show up where to find you so you know for instance if I go out hunting by myself I always tell my wife that yeah I'm going out to you know the old shelter belt which she knows where it is or I'm you know going out to so-and-so's place and, and that way she might not know exactly where the stands are but the people that I uh, I run around hang out with are going to know exactly probably where I'm at. So that's just a really good safety key to um, you know help you you know return a safe trip because if something does happen a lot of times getting to that person uh, very quickly is paramount to a safe return. And you should also carry a cell phone with you. Oh absolutely I always do and, and I'm kind of a I'm not a technology user when I bow hunt uh, you know I hunt with a recurve bow. Um, <laughs> You know, a lot of times I don't have the newest camouflage, but I always take a cell phone with me. And simply for the fact that, you know, if I do fall, get hurt, if I'm in a place that has coverage, I can call for help. So to me, although I'm not really a technology guy, that's one piece where, you know, I'll make some concessions that are just in the interest of safety. And I think that's very important to do that. Be careful when you're walking around, make sure your uh, equipment's in good condition, uh, cover your broad heads, uh, you know, make sure they're firmly in a quiver, you know, with a cover on it. Uh, you know, cuts and falls in archery season are, are two of our, you know, more common accidents. At least have something in your uh, vehicle so you can, you know, at least apply a simple bandage if you have to. There's some rules and regulations if you're going to set up tree stands, ground blinds, trail cams on uh, wildlife management areas. Well, if you're just going to go out and hunt and tramp around, have at it. Uh, where we get into a little, uh, you know, different rules and regulations is if you're going to bring equipment out there and leave it, and you're certainly welcome to do so, but there are some rules and regulations you have to follow, and if you leave anything unattended on a game of fish management area, you certainly have to have that identified, and you either have to have your name and address on it, or you have to uh, have an equipment identification tag. And you can get that from the Game of Fish website. When you log on to your profile, you can get a certification and they'll give you, uh, you know, they'll give you, typically it's a five digit number. And it, you know, at some point we'll probably run out of those, but right now they're five digit numbers. And you can just place that on there. And then our wildlife management people, our enforcement, you know, if they have an issue with your equipment, they can uh, track that number and, and find out who it belongs to. Some of the issues that we have are setting up equipment too early. Now you can put up, you know, trail cameras, ground blinds, tree stands, but you can't do it before the 20th of August. And then it can remain there until January 31st. And that's the other problem that we have is uh, a lot of times people leave their tree stands up, think they're gonna get out one last hunting trip and then you get into the end of January and things get hard to retrieve. There's a lot of snow on the ground and if they're left out there, um, they'll be confiscated. And if your name and number are on there and you didn't retrieve it, you're probably gonna get a visit from somebody. So just remember, you're welcome to put that stuff up there, but we need to have it uh, put up no later or no earlier than August 20th. And it has to be taken down no later than January 31st of 2021 this year. How about plots land? Plots land, of course, you cannot leave anything without permission of the landowner. Uh, that's still private land, and you're welcome to go hunt it, uh, you know, during the open hunting seasons. But if you want to put up a tree stand or a ground blind, leave it there. 
you're gonna need permission from that landowner to do so. And there are some units where you can't hunt over bait as well. Absolutely, and across the state, you cannot put bait on any of our game management areas. And then there's also some units where baiting is just outlawed, uh, period. And there's a, about 12 units, and they're typically in the, uh, you know, the uh, South Central and the Western and the Northwestern parts of the state. And if you're interested in that, you can certainly go to our website or look up your deer proclamation, and we'll tell you what units. You need a license if you're gonna go archery hunting this fall too. Absolutely, and if you're gonna go deer hunting, uh, archery hunting, you certainly need your archery deer tag. In addition, of course, you still need your certificate and your general human habitat stamp. You will be good to go bull hunting. A lot of great information, thank you. Bull hunters can buy a license online at the North Dakota Game and Fish Department's website at gf.nd.gov or by calling 800-406-6409 or at vendors linked to the Game and Fish Department's online licensing system. For Education Supervisor Marty Aglin and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for the 2020 Archery Season Preview. We'll see you again next week.